A person's length of life or lifespan is the age at which they die. The average length of life for a population is easy to calculate. We merely need to use the registrations of deaths. For example, we know that everyone born in France in 1880 is now dead, and they lived for an average of 55 years. But how do demographers determine the average length of life of people who are still alive? That is, what is known as life expectancy. For example, how did they manage to determine that life expectancy in France in 2000 was 79? Firstly, they put the population who were alive at the beginning of the year 2000 into ages. Then, for each age, they calculated the proportion of people who died during the year. For example, that year in France, the proportion of 30-year-olds who died was 0.8 for a thousand. They thus obtained the death rate for each age for the year 2000. But how, using these mortality figures for the year 2000, do demographers reach an indicator for average length of life? They work on a fictitious generation, that is, a group or cohort of 1,000 people. And then, year by year, throughout their lives, the demographers see how many would die at each age if the risk of them dying was similar to the risk of death of the people of the same age really living in 2000. Between their births and their first birthdays, those people will be exposed to the same risks of dying as those experienced by the under one-year-olds in France in 2000. Then, when they are aged one, they'll be exposed to the risks experienced by one-year-olds, etc. And at 90, they will be subjected to the risks experienced by 90-year-olds. Then the demographers take an average of the lifespans of the members of the group. They obtain an average length of life of 79 years. The average length of life of the fictitious group, based on the mortality observed in 2000, gives an indicator referred to as life expectancy at birth for the people living in 2000. For example, it makes it possible to compare the mortality of different populations around the world. By means of this indicator, we can also identify whether mortality increases or decreases from one year to another within the same population.